Okay, so the other day I came across this video of this guy playing what looked like a bagpipe made out of a latex glove and some straws, and turns out that's exactly what it was. When I came across this first video, he didn't have a tutorial out about how to make it, so just a couple days later he made a tutorial and I decided I really want to try to make one. So today that's what I'm going to be attempting to do is make a bagpipe thing out of the straws and a latex glove. I don't really know how this is going to work out, but I'm going to try it. I made a list of all the supplies that I'm going to need, so I'm going to run to the store and try to see if I can find everything. So I got two different types of gloves. I got some latex gloves and then some like cleaning gloves and then I also bought a box of plastic straws. Then I needed rubber bands and tape but I already had duct tape at home so I just bought a pack of rubber bands. I was looking in the party section for balloon sticks or balloon holders but they didn't have any here so I just checked out and then headed over to Party City. Hey do you guys have balloon sticks? What are you doing with these? Do you really want to know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm making a, I saw a video of this person that made a, like a bagpipe thing out of a latex glove and balloon sticks. Oh. So uh, that's what I'm attempting to do. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'll let Good you know how it goes. Out. Thanks. <laughs> Okay, so I just got back from the store. I actually had to go to two different places, but I think I have everything I need now, so let's jump right into it. Okay, so the first thing I have to do is take the balloon stick and cut the top off, it looks like. I feel like these look different than what he has. This doesn't seal at the end. I wonder if that's going to be an issue. I think I'm supposed to cut like a... I'm confused. I saw people do this with um, straws too. So I have straws in case that doesn't work, but uh, maybe I should actually, maybe I should try it on a straw first because I have more straws okay that's what i'm gonna do hang on so basically this is gonna end up being like the reed okay now i think you're supposed to like <laughs> this is not working very well oh that is definitely not gonna work oh my gosh it's working all right that works. I still don't know how to do it with this thing, with the uh, balloon straw, but I bet you get a better sound from this than you do a real straw. Also, I saw a video of Troy Roberts play a straw like a flute. So I wonder if I can do that. Okay, we'll try that later. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna try to make it like this guy's tutorial first and then see if I can go back and make it the way that the guy did on uh, TikTok. Okay, that's not making any noise. Okay, so this is my first uh, attempt. Basically, it doesn't work. Well, <laughs> it kind of worked. See, I'm just confused because the air that's inside the glove is supposed to make this one buzz, I think. Okay, so I'm about to start attempt number two, but I'm wondering if I should make, like, for the straw that has a bunch of holes, I'm thinking I'm just gonna use my tin whistle. Like, I bet if I just put my tin whistle into one side, then I, this will be, like, in tune, and I just have to tune the other straws on the end. So I think that's what I'm gonna try. All right, that's definitely gonna work. 45 degrees down, then horizontally to the cap. So, okay, so just for the record, I'm terrible at like anything that involves math. And this is looking like it's a little too precise for my brain, but we'll try it. I'm gonna try not to slice my finger off. Oh my gosh, this makes me so nervous. See, this whole thing's about to come off. That's definitely not right. Wait, how many of these do I have? 10. So I could, I could try this and mess up. Okay, so here's my issue. I'm confused. He's saying you cut the, take the balloon stick with the holder and cut it at the top, right? But this looks different. Like this isn't a cap. Yeah. Are you supposed to put your whole mouth over it? Yes. Too far. I think. <laughs> like, I just don't understand if this part is supposed to vibrate against Try the Try without that square piece. Nothing. I don't know if it's because I'm, we're cutting it wrong or what. What are you laughing at? <laughs> I don't think that's gonna work. I don't think it is either, but I might as well try. <laughs> You should be able to blow into this and it would work. You see the problem? That's why you should have looked up how no, a bagpipe works. It doesn't matter though because so yes, this is this you're twist it and tie it into this nice little knot. Okay, so it is day two. Uh, yesterday I spent probably close to four hours trying to figure out how to get this glove thing to work. I ended up DMing the guy who created it on TikTok and asking him for some help. So he explained to me that the end caps that came with the balloon sticks that I got don't seal, and that's the issue. This is what my caps look like. What the?
hell is this? <laughs> Do I need ones that are round? Yes. Is it open on this side with the cap? No, no, it's closed. You need something to plug yeah. this in is what you're saying. Yes, yes, you you need okay. to plug. So they're supposed to go on the end of the stick like this and then seal off the air. He said I could use candle wax, but I ended up trying with duct tape and it works. So this is what it's supposed to sound like once you've cut the little reed thing. The other thing he said is that I really need to use like a cleaning glove because I guess the latex gloves just don't expand enough and so there's not enough pressure. So now that I can actually make a sound out of the balloon stick or whatever, I should be able to just follow the tutorial and make one pretty quickly. It's not working. I guess I'm just gonna try to cut another one. Yes, I got the work. Okay, and now I have to cut this one to G, okay. So I cut a little bit too much off the balloon stick. So to fix that, I just taped a small piece of straw to the end and that made the pitch go back down. Yes, that's a little more in tune, let's go. Okay, so this first stick is gonna be like the one that you add the holes to so you can change the pitch and the rest are gonna be drones, I think. Duh. So this hole should be, duh, I think. Yes. Okay, I'm hoping this is T and not T. Perfect. Okay, so it should be G up an octave. Yes, okay. Okay, so I officially have the chanter stick completed, I guess. I think it's mostly in tune. I can't really find out until I tape this end off, but I can't do that until I get the drones in. So I'm gonna try to make those drones next and we'll go from there. Okay, so I just attached the first drone stick. We're gonna see if they both play at the same time and also what note the drone plays. It should play a G, so this we should hear unison, but we'll see. That is not unison. My neighbors are probably like, what is going on in there? I bet by the time I'm done making this video, I could make one of these in like 20 minutes. Whoops, wrong way. Wait, no, right way, maybe. Wait, it sounds like it's playing Ray now. I'm confused. I know which note is what, I think. I'll be able to figure it out. Okay, so the last step is to add like the mouthpiece part, just the part that you're just pushing air into that doesn't need to be cut or doesn't need to have a reed rather. So I'm gonna try to do that now. He used like an empty pen. Uh, I might just use a straw or like a little piece of one of these balloon sticks that was just like a leftover. I'm about to walk back into Party City playing this thing, imagine. <laughs> Okay, it's all taped up. Uh, here is the moment of truth. <laughs> this is the most ridiculous thing ever. How do you hold it? Okay, so it takes a lot of air. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna pass out. Imagine Frank found dead on the floor of his room. Okay, so it's almost working. There's like a couple weird things that are happening. One is the chanter stick that I'm supposed to be able to change the pitch on keeps stopping. And I've seen in this guy's video, like the guy who made it, I saw that he's like taps the fingers sometimes, like the sticks. I think maybe what's happening is the little reed part is getting stuck shut or something maybe. The other weird thing is like, sometimes I'm getting like a fourth away from what I thought I tuned it to. I think it just depends on the pressure, I think. It's, it's really hard to like control. Like you could hear in that one part, like I got the interval of a fifth to be pretty good. I'm, I'm gonna keep messing with it for a minute and see what I can get.
okay so there are a couple of things one i can't really like articulate the notes because it's like once the air is going it's going like you can't stop it for each individual note also it takes a lot of air like i'm very winded and my i feel lightheaded like my head's starting to hurt so i don't know about this glove like i think it's just because there's so much pressure needed to inflate the glove i'm not sure but like once you get it inflated it seems to work pretty well and you don't have to blow as hard but i guess that pretty much wraps it up for the latex glove straw bagpipe what does he call it the glove pipe that's what it's called if you like this type of video make sure to give it a thumbs up so that i know and i'll try to make more like these i have a few other ideas for like homemade instruments or like miscellaneous like go to the store and see what i can come up with sort of deals so yeah let me know if that's something you want to see and i'll see you guys in the next video trumpet and the mouthpiece uh where's the reed also i don't know what to do about valve oil like these don't feel that sticky oh okay that was a little sticky i don't know what to do about that i'm pretty sure you just unscrew these things hang on